Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to unbox and review this Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw. And it's a four inch portable cordless electric chainsaw. And um, full disclosure, this was given to me by the company um, free of charge for an unbiased review video on it, okay? So um, I saw Mark from eCarbs Outdoor a while back do a review of his mini chainsaw. And it was funny, I was going back and forth and I'm like, you know, I really want one of those. I don't need one of those, but I really want one of those. <laughs> and I actually started looking around, trying to, to get a good deal on one, um, because I kind of need it. <laughs> um, some of the things I wanted to cut with it were, you know, when I'm trimming up my live oaks, which are a very, very hard wood, and um, doing my palm trees, because they're a pain in the neck, and... Um, to cut the, the fronds off, and I'm like, you know, that little a little electric battery-operated cordless chainsaw would work perfectly. So when Seika reached out to me, I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely want to test that out. So again, full disclosure, this was sent to me by the company um, for free. They did not pay me for um, reviewing it. Um, I'll have a link to the company in, in the description if you're interested in buying one, you can go there. I'm not affiliated with them in any way as far as monetar, uh, you know, monetary value or I'm not getting any kickback on anything you buy. So I just want to make that clear. All right, so let's get this open. Oh, and I saw James's video. He got one too. <laughs> All right, let's see. Which is the top? I'm going to guess that's the top. I'm definitely digging the case. All right, so what do we got? Of course, we got the instruction manual. We got some precautions. We have the saw. Oh, yeah, check this out. Check it out, folks. So the way this operates, obviously, you put a battery in. You have this lock button here that locks the trigger, so you have to depress that and press the trigger. Um, anyone who runs a chainsaw, you know that you have to have the tension correct for the blade, uh, the uh, the chain. This probably could be tightened up a hair. All right, they give you the tools. This is the tool to take off this nut. And then here's the screwdriver to adjust the tension, okay? And then they give you a little tiny bottle of chain oil. Now, again, anyone who uses a chainsaw knows you have to keep them lubricated, okay? This doesn't have a, a, a self-lubrication, all right? Um, more oil is better than less oil when it comes to a chainsaw and always keep them clean. Now, I'm not a chainsaw expert, but I do know at least that much. Um, I have a little 8-inch uh, electric chainsaw that I've been cutting stuff with for about 10 years. And I'll tell you, the thing runs great, okay, but you're tethered to a, you know, an extension cord. But one thing I always, always do is keep it well lubricated and clean, okay? So we have that. We have two batteries. Two 20-volt batteries. We have an indicator here. Okay, we got a full charge on that one.
and a full charge on that one. So let's put one in. Whoa! Man, that's got some torque to it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely digging it. All right, so we have a guard here, and we have a guard here. So let's get this out, and uh, we're gonna do some cutting. All right, first make sure you have your safety, you know, gear on, eye protection, you know, all that good stuff. So this is the the palm tree I get the palm husks off of. See this right here. So I'm going to try to cut one of these limbs here, the fronds. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. All right. Oh wow. That is absolutely awesome that worked fantastic That made short work of that. So that is going to make these palm trees trimming a breeze. Now let's go over to some live oak. All right. I have no idea how this video is going to come out. I actually have my son's GoPro on my head and I have my camera. So let me try to get a little closer here. Of course, the ground's all crooked, but let's see if I can get that branch right in there. All right. Oh yeah, that was awesome. All right, let's see if I could get down here. That worked great. Boom. Okay, I am thoroughly impressed with this little beast. The Seika Mini Electric Chainsaw. That is so cool. Let me, uh... you know what? Let me go back to the table. All right, so my final thoughts on this is this thing is absolutely awesome. Um, I believe it's on sale uh, on their website for this package here for $65. Um, I know they sell it on Amazon and, and all that good stuff. But uh, again, just to, to recap, make sure that you always keep the chain oiled. Um, you're definitely going to have to go buy more oil. Okay, Chain and bar oil will work. Um, clean it you know, after you use it. Wear safety gear, and um, this thing should last a long time. So now, again, I did. What did I do? I cut a couple palm fronds and a couple pieces of live oak, and it didn't even take anything out of the battery. So yeah, definitely an excellent little saw. Um, and you all know one of the other reasons why I wanted this, right? Yeah, fat wood. <laughs> um, but all my fatwood right now is processed, so I will be doing a follow-up video on how this puppy handles fatwood and, you know, if it gets gummed up, again, depending on the fatwood. But uh, 
that'll be a uh, future video as I start to use this. So, um, you know, that'll come out in the future. But again, Seika, thank you for the saw. I think this is an excellent value. This thing has got some power. And for what I want it for, it, it exceeded my expectations. I really wasn't sure how a little four-inch chainsaw was going to do, you know. But, uh, man, for around your house, you know, um, and if you're down in Florida or Georgia, you know, and you have palm trees, man, this thing just eats right through it. So thoroughly impressed. Um, again, this was gifted to me from the company. Um, you know, I did not pay for it. You're getting my honest opinion, and I love this thing. I absolutely love it. So check out the link. Um, you know, you could do some research yourself. I didn't see any kinds of bit. I saw one guy that torture tested it, and, you know, he was like, ah, this is no good. Well, guess what? I don't torture test my tools because that's not how I use my tools. Again, I take care of my tools. I use my tools for what they were intended to use them for, um, and they serve me well. I mean, again, I have tools that are, you know, that I personally bought that are 30, maybe even 40 years old, um, and they still work like they were the first day they were made. So, again, um, you're never going to see me torture test this. You're going to see me use this in real life, you know, situations and, you know, use it how it was built to be used. So, uh, there you have it. The Seika Mini Electric Chainsaw gets two thumbs up from me. And, um, you know, I appreciate you coming along. If you're in a market for one of these, I highly recommend this one. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you all are doing well. And you know I'm going to say it. I'm sending you all much, much love and appreciation, my brothers and sisters. And we'll see you on the next one.